happened to me yesterday. So yesterday I was on my way to a meeting and all of a sudden, I was coming up to a roundabout, all of a sudden, boom, a really loud sound and a really big judder came from the rear of the car and just as soon as that happened, the dash started flashing with the tire pressure warning thing and so I knew that something wasn't quite right. Luckily, I was able to get off of the roundabout, stop outside someone's house and get out and see the damage and the, my rear right tire was absolutely destroyed, complete blowout. Um, it seems that there was like some kind of metallic debris in the road that I didn't see and it just shredded the tire. It seems that this piece of metal went in around the middle of the tire and shredded right through and went through the sidewall of the tire, which is, which is insane because my tires weren't exactly done. And the Michelin Supersports have a reinforced sidewalls and it, it managed to get all the way through. Check it out, this is what it looked like. Even though that was really unlucky, I do kind of count myself as being lucky um, with regards to the fact that it seems to have exited the sidewall and then went out into the middle of the road before it destroyed my wheel, which is pretty good. And also, I don't see any other damage around the body of the car, so that's pretty good. I got to the side of the road and like I was, I was kind of panicking because I was under a bit of a time constraint. So I started phoning around some tire places and luckily I found one place that had one tire in the right size left in stock, which was, again, another one of the lucky bits. And then I put on that weird like goo stuff and started pumping up the tire, and, but it was like the, the air was flying out. I, I didn't have a lot of confidence that that was actually gonna work. And of course it says all the instructions when you're doing that, if after like at the most 10 minutes of pumping this goo stuff in, that if it doesn't get all the way up to two bar, I think it is, um, then you cannot drive on that even just a short distance to get to like a tire place. It will not do and you have to get assistance. Luckily, it got, it went above two, um, but I could see that it was gonna start flying out. So we, as soon as it got up there, I chucked, the, I chucked the, the pump back in the boot. We all jumped in the car and we, we got to this place in Balamani as quick as we could. Well, as quick as we could, driving as slow as we could, if you know what I mean. Luckily, again, it wasn't too far away. And luckily, again, they were not busy and they took us straight in and did a really great job. Really, really quick, really, really friendly guys. Uh, they were called Balamani Tire Company. So if, if you guys were watching, thank you so much, guys and girls. Really, really great service. Thank you so much for getting me out of a tight spot. Oh, and, I'm, and I ended up making good time and I got to my meeting, so it's all good. This is the replacement tire we got. It's just some no-name brand. I mean, what does that even say? Roadstone, never heard of that. But yeah, I mean, you can see, even though it's a bit dirty, there's no damage to the wheel, thankfully. And um, this thing, I've just literally just yanked that out of the boot. Um, at the time, I just chucked it in and legged it. Well, I suppose more like crawled to the tire place. I mean, it's spewing out this stuff still at the end. I mean, I guess I just chuck, I have to unscrew this and chuck it in the bin. And then I guess, I do I go to like a Ford dealer or is there better ones online that I could potentially get instead of a Ford one? Um, you know, if you have any experience with this stuff, throw a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think of this stuff what I should do to replace that uh, I, I mean like I don't see any other damage you know looking around here um, it just whatever that debris was it just came straight out the side of the tire um, but you can see this tire has a completely different tread profile you can see the uh, it's got four big grooves versus the Michelin which has uh, three bigs and one really small one so the Michelin is more sort of focused for well slightly more focused for track um, whereas that one over there um, just isn't so that leaves me in a bit of a funny position with my tires because now I've got three sort of half worn Michelin Super Sports and this one random it's not a great brand it's kind of a brand I've never even heard of it was pretty cheap tire to be honest um, which is but then it's obviously completely brand new so I've got a difference in tread pattern difference in tread wear and it's a completely different performing tire of course it's it doesn't have the reinforced sidewall so it's not gonna be able to withstand the cornering forces so much and it's just it's just gonna be a bit imbalanced so it raises the question what should I do about my tires? So perhaps you have an opinion about this. Maybe like 
you have dealt with tires a lot before. <laughs> if you have, if you have an idea of what I should do, throw a comment down below. Like maybe I should replace the two rears with new uh, Super Sports or Power Sport Fours or Four Ss. The Power Sport Four S being a logical successor to the Michelin Super Sport. Or maybe I should get a whole new set. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't even go Michelin at all. What do you think about tires? Let's see what you think. Throw a comment down below and we'll get a discussion going and just get an idea of what I should do because I'm not really too sure if I should leave it just as is or maybe you think I should leave it as is just for the time being um, as long as I just don't really do much in the way of track work. Um, so yeah, ideas please down below. So yeah, that, that was my uh, unfortunate adventure uh, yesterday. Um, it was unlucky but had some luck to get me out of a sticky spot in the end and yeah well we're driving we're all good nothing's damaged anymore so we're good to go so yeah thanks for watching this little vlog um i probably don't do this enough just to give you a little update on what's going on i will be coming very soon with some more like installs and whatnot so make sure you are subscribed for that thank you once again and goodbye